Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a wee Sunday live again. It's nice to see you live. The last couple of weeks, I've been um, I've been up north. I've been in Port Appen. I've been away camping, um, but it's given me an opportunity because a lot of the interiors that I want to show you. Um, are like hotels and working spaces. So I have to go in and pre-record so we're not actually throwing people out of their bed so we can see how nice the bed is when they're not in it. So um, I hope this finds you all well. The last two weeks have been really quite nice for the weather. Port Appen last weekend was absolutely stunning. And we stayed in a really lovely little wooden pod and had endless days on the beach, which was absolutely amazing. Now I know I've been teeing up um, my kitchen, my kitchen, my kitchen, which I started two weeks before lockdown. So, good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning, Helen. Good morning, Fiona. Good morning, Lorraine. Good morning, Bridie. Good morning, Kay. Good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you all bright and breezy. Now, I hope you've got all your questions. You must have a post bag full of questions for me um, because we haven't been live for two weeks and periodically I will be going live as I've said good morning Janice um, but good morning May but um, I do think it's important that you see other bits and pieces of the other side of the designs that I can't be live in so it's important to keep a good balance so yes get your post bags emptied get those questions coming through for me I'm dying to hear what you've been up to I'm dying to know what your questions are and how you've been coping in the last couple of weeks now we're, most of us are getting back to work and you know it's been great having that opportunity to get out and kind of masked see people. I mean, it's quite nice to be able to see someone's complete face as well as being masked. But it's all about safety, it's all about sensibility, and it's all about keeping it all together um, so that this really can't come back. So I've been spending a lot of time tweaking my kitchen. I've been up since eight o'clock this morning <laughs> tidying it. Um, it's almost finished. I do have a few niggly little bits of bits and pieces, but if you remember the way it was before, it was um, pretty dark. Um, I loved the look of it. It was a walnut finish on the doors and a black granite worktop. And the way I designed it, and it did work for 15 years extremely well, but I'd used up too much of the floor space. And it wasn't very good for entertaining people. So I thought um, it would be good. Good morning, Anna Ryder Richardson. How are you? I thought it'd be good to have a big workspace and an area that if I did a friend's round, they could sit on the stools and maybe have a chat about what I'm trying to cook. Um, other things that have been happening, I've put up some um, ceiling lights in my bar um, in a lovely teal colour. Um, and These are from Cotto Light Centres. I absolutely love them. And they're beginning to pull the teal colour through from the chairs. I've still got a bit of plastering work to do. And my decorator, and uh, who's great, is now so busy I'm down at the bottom of the list because I like to make sure that my clients get their jobs finished first. Isn't that selfless of me? But it does mean another couple of weeks for me to look at these bare walls but hey we'll look at the before. Remember the before because I can't wait to show you the after. So yeah not very much has changed. I've been spending a lot of time outside which has been great. Um, I did have my decking cleaned and washed and repainted out there. I've been out in the summer house a lot. Thank you outside in garden rooms. And I think, you know, I'm starting to do a little tiny bit of business with a new garden room company. And if you're thinking of investing um, in some extra space at home for you, your family, for your business, watch this space because there's another company coming up just um, starting off and I've got a little project I'll be working on with you but outside in garden rooms they are super busy now because everyone is realizing that it is great to be able to use outside space so not very much has changed here either I've given it a little bit of a tidy you'll see what I've done that oh there's my finger there 
How do we do that? I used to be so good at it. On my chairs, I sometimes get a little bit bored, so I tweak my accessories. So I brought some of my sheepskin throws, thank you Ikea, in from the summer house and just popped them onto the chair there. And do you know, if I just get a little bit bored around the house, what I do is I just tweak my accessories around and it does work really, really well. As you see, I'm still not wallpapered, but it's getting there. That's going to make such a difference. But you'll see in the background, my kitchen. So here we go. So if you remember, it was all very dark. And what I've done is I've kept these tiles because I really like them. These were porcelainosa slate tiles. And instead of my kitchen wrapping around the outside, I've made the work area the center area. Now, one of the biggest things I did and make a decision on was I used to have here my sink and this was my kitchen window. So I've dropped the doorway down. I've kept that doorway and relined them with Windows Direct. Great company and on the outside they're grey, which is a really nice finish. And you'll see what that has done I bring the camera back here, has opened up that whole area of outside and in. And I really, really love it. I've got a big workspace here, a little breakfasting area there, or if someone's watching me cook, and everything, everything integrated. And yes, it doesn't always look this pristine if I'm doing a cooked breakfast or doing a meal, but I do have my little utility. But what I have done is made sure that I've made the best of the space. So behind me here, I've created, and remember, my house is on a slope. So in behind those cupboard doors is a slope, so I've only got half the top. But what it has done is allow me to create an appliance bank now, some people have coffee machines in here. I'm a little bit restricted for space, but I've got like a steam oven, a microwave, an oven, a warming drawer, and I absolutely love the sleek, simple elegance of that gross glay, gloss glay, gloss grey work uh, door. And it just, I just absolutely, the room feels double the size. It's an absolute joy to come in and make a wee cup of tea. But for kitchens to work well, they have to be planned well. So I have here on the central island, we have the hob, induction hob. We have two super big pan drawers and I love these little sneaky drawers. I hope this is tidy. Not too bad, cooking utensils. So anywhere I've been able to add some extra space, self soft closers, mwah, I go for it. Integrated dishwasher in here. Storage under the sink, not quite tidy. A little top tip, my little favorite home bargains baskets. And also this is a hot water and filtered water tap, which I absolutely love as well because it gives me Boiling hot water at the touch of a button or the pull of a lever and filtered water. One of the biggest expenses, and I would always advise you to, when you're planning out your kitchen, is to think about the most expensive feature. And here, for me, it was this beautiful white Carrara marble worktop, which was the biggest, probably, expense, but gives the major wow factor. And when I was working with Clearwater Kitchens on this transformation, what I wanted to do, and Ricky Kildee, who is a fantastic space plan designer and kitchen designer, and actually, do you know, we, we all think we know how we want our kitchen to work, but I ran it all past him, and he came up with a few fantastic space-saving devices and sensible changes within my design so, integrated into the central area here, as I said, I've got a huge big work surface space. And although I used to have work surface here 
and here and here, meter for meter, I have just as much on this huge big work surface area here. And a little bit like my lovely friend Christy, who we saw in her sumptuous pastel palace two weeks ago, she keeps everything in her cupboards, has it almost like a pantry and brings out what she needs. So you don't have to clutter the kitchen with unnecessary knickknacks. Now, Stephen Arakalayan, good morning in Greece. I know what you're thinking, Calimera. You're thinking those windows could do with a fantastic voil. Steve has got a company called Linear Studio in Richmond and my curtains that so many people have mentioned, they look like an open weave through in my um, bar area are made by him. They are so lovely. Anyway, back to the designing point of view. And yes, stop sidetracking me, Stephen, from Mykonos. Has a beautiful guest house as well. I'll be posting pictures of that soon. I can't get over there. I'm so frustrated, but I will be back soon. But this is a lovely tip. And I saw this actually in my friend Ruby's house. Um, you're probably thinking, okay, I don't need a kettle because I've got the hot water tap. But where's his toaster and where's everything else? Well, what I've done here behind this door is create, and you'll see what I mentioned earlier. I have the pitch at the top of the house because I'm on an angle. So I've made this three little shelves for my teas, coffees, mugs. But down here, I have a little chopping board area. Toaster, always keep the door open when you're toasting and a little coffee machine so it's a little area i can have a cup of coffee a slice of gluten-free toast please and it's all nice and tidy in there i usually keep a nice loaf and some fresh breads and things in there and it gives me all i need in one messy little corner but when we look down the kitchen yes i could be on the control deck of the starship enterprise sleek seamless effortless and that's what i wanted so other space saving devices yes i've got loads of drawers oh not filled that one yet so we've got loads of drawers and what i like to do is keep all my plates rather than cupboards i keep them in drawers because what i love to do is there's my dishwasher in the pop up until they're dry give them a little towel dry back in the drawer or mugs back in the cupboard or glasses popped up here as well yes I do have enough gravy boats yeah that's another obsession I keep thinking oh I'm having a dinner party I don't have a gravy boat where are they I'll just buy another one I have six handy though can't beat tidy drawers I'll tell you my drawers are always impeccable aren't they just there's a little wink to prove it now Another area, if you can, is full height areas. And I love just lining them out with storage. And it just keeps everything up and out of the way. But getting back to the kitchen design, this had to do so many different things, this kitchen. What it didn't have before was a kind of social atmosphere. But what happens now is I can have people having nibbles and drinks through in the bar. Look, I'm still not wallpapered. <laughs> So I can have my drinks through in the bar in, your, in the outside area. I can come from maybe even the dining area through to the TV area. I can walk up these steps and a couple of stools just sitting here means it can be a bit more social, especially in my project for next year. Mm -hmm. I've started, so I'll finish one of these days. By dropping these doors, I instantly have more access and I'm going to take this floor out. And I was talking to my friend Christine yesterday, who's running um, her inside flooring. Make sure your tiles are frostproof, but these are frostproof and I'm going to run them out. And cr So that creates an extra patio area. I do have an outside heater out there and I'm going to build a kind of gazebo so it's for outside living. And if we have a year next year of summer sunniness like we had this year, I'm going to be using that area a lot. And this is a lovely area in the morning. I get the sun from here from about 8 till about 12 before it goes to the other side of the house. 
But back to my kitchen. So, wide shot here, TV in the wall, so I can catch up on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward, no, YouTube forward slash John Amably Design. Don't forget, ring the bell, subscribe. Make sure you don't miss any of my top tips because I've been saving them up ready to film. So TV on the wall, seamless. And on the wall finish here, this is a really nice ceramic. And I contrasted it in a black grout so it really stands out. And even going down into where my studio used to be, those hooks along there were the remnants of the entrance into my studio when I worked from home and these had samples on them. But I actually like them there, especially with, you know, the comedy meat poster and oh yes, bring me back, you say be daily, you say be daily. But it all flows beautifully round into, we've been in there before, that's my little shower room, as you've seen. Keeping all the finishes quite simple. But that ceramic, I really love because it gives us a little hint of kitchen. Lovely feeling of, you know, clean, simple lines. But what I found when I was doing this side of the kitchen, when I took the tiles off here, these walls were an absolute mess. Uh, very uneven, broken brickwork. And I thought to myself, I'm going to have to realign those, have them plastered, have them faced, have them leveled, have them tiled. I wanted something that looked like this, but was actually this. Sorry, I went off there. That looked like this. So I found this. And this is actually, I've spoken about this before. It's called a wet wall system. And these are actually sheets, four feet wide by eight feet high. And they're sheets of prefabricated, almost plastic fronted. I've still got to finish that edge off, you can see. There's a nicer way of doing it, but my walls are so uneven. Um, and you'll see these big panels with the edging strip are pre-made. And I had a joiner put on some buttering adhesive on the back. And these simply and effectively clad the walls. Okay, it doesn't have the black grout mark on it, but it gives a lovely effect. So if you are thinking of a problem area in your shower room or in your kitchen, this is from Rero, R-E-A-R-O. And they, real laminates, provide these wall panels. And I've used them quite successfully in other areas. They come in wood effect, tile effect, stone effect. Um, can you get them in herringbone? There's new styles coming out all the time. Sometimes I kind of could not stand that small space. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Anyway, I'll go back and read that and answer properly. Instant hot tap water and tidy away, away toaster. It works, yes. So that really, really works well. And I've actually used them in some shower enclosures as well that look really, really good. Um, I don't know if you're talking about a small space there, but that's the corridor through to another part of the kitchen. It's not part of my kitchen. So on this side of the kitchen, again, I've got my central. And I may, through time, maybe, change it to a grey, but I quite like the feature of it because it's a very shiny black uh, fridge freezer, American style, and it works so well. And so I've got a larder here, which I've just joined. I kept the, the detail. If I don't have any handles, I've gone for this groove detail. Oops, still a little bit of plastic, that's how fresh the kitchen is. A little groove detail to grip the door open, and I've actually put these two doors together, so I'll keep the look. And inside, yeah, everyone has them. That's all my cleaning. I can put mops and brushes on the back of the door, glass cleaners, extra blenders and things. All works really, really well. Again, little uses of space. I keep some of my cookbooks up here. Diet books, every diet book 
you could have literally read them all still hungry but this is where you should talk to your kitchen designer because it's the small tile at the ceiling top oh the little edge i know i know surely i know um in this area here i have which you see this i love this so this is a larder which pulls out to here with all my cooking and that slides back so everything comes to the forefront so no scrabbling about to find things but it does work really well now I will address that area here and what I'm going to do and I had thought about it I just hadn't got round to it where you see this little bulkhead here which runs around and it's got a permit on it. Because this used to be two children's bedrooms, not into one big area, you can see the roof actually dips a little bit. So I'm going to do a little line which will tidy up that effect. And I know that will help me sleep at night. So I hope it helps you sleep at night. You want to see inside my fridge? Mm. I'll give you a peek. There we go. Healthy fruit, vegetables, eggs. There you go. That's all you're seeing. So there we are. If you have any questions about designing kitchens, how kitchens work, how yours should work, how you could do a mini fix, how you can do a major fix, how you should spend your money wisely. And, oh, this is another little... I love this here as well as having different light effects in here these pop down and this as well as my windows for ventilation at the top they're just simple little hoppers I have a fantastic air conditioning system because having an open plan house I don't particularly want people to smell my spaghetti bolognese the minute they come to my front door Debbie Pearson wine <laughs> how dare you it's far too early for me Debbie, I have all my wine, etc. through in my bar area and I try to keep things in that area. I've even got, I'm a little bit OCD. Have you noticed? I have glasses for that dishwasher and I have glasses up here for this dishwasher. So these are our everyday glasses. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with the bar glasses, which are down there. Now the kitchen company, thanks for asking again, Jacqueline Murphy, is Clearwater Kitchens. Um, Ricky there is second to none in his designing and I've used him in a couple of private jobs as well. Um, accessorising into the kitchen, I wanted to create, as you'll see, on a mood board, this would be very simple. A grey gloss door, a grey floor and white tiles. But what I decided to do was be a little bit crazy when I added this new walkway, which is where the old part of the kitchen used to be. And I wanted to introduce something a little bit more peppy. And I don't think we should be afraid of mixing floor tiles. Now you could actually have a surround of this with an inset of the hexagons, which is keeping very much in vogue the geograph geometry, which is very fashionable just now. Oh, look at that. I've only walked around it once and it's gone a bit dirty again. However, that is a great surround to the kitchen. And I think what it does is it gives me another aspect to the kitchen. Rather than being too streamlined and boring, uh, I think I put an upside down L-shaped permit along the line of the tiles of the ceiling when I strip a bit. Yes, I will, I will think of that, Stuart Carr, thank you very much, for that little problem area. Yeah, trust you, Shirley, for noticing that. But well done. Have a look at my UCB thing. I'll take your mind off it. There we go. <laughs> so don't be afraid to mix different finishes and looks you know from geometric tiles to simple slate tiles to your Victorian tiles to a, a, a wet wall system ring the changes and then what you can do because as you know I'm always changing my mind but um, Steve and I were in Sri Lanka and I found this print which I absolutely adore um, so we brought that back and had it framed in the local gallery and 
it just gives a pop of colour and it means what I can do if I'm um, creating a little room set for you this morning. I can use the colours in the artwork onto the colours of my crockery, pops of colour onto my Le Creuset. And, you know, looking down at maybe the cookbooks and the sunflowers, you can create pops of colours. Now, equally, when I get to Christmas and I'm having people round, because it looks like I won't be going to Goa or leaving the country, I'll be staying, staying here. Thank you, you love my glasses. Thank you. These ones, thank you very much. Um, I'll introduce maybe dark reds and greens and maybe put some, like a Christmas dressing just to festive the area up could even put a little dried christmas tree in the corner do you know this way if i take these elements of color which pop out if i take those elements out i can change them very quickly so you're not getting bored with your kitchen because it is big expensive purchases dorothy mccarroll i'm putting on uh, Carandine flooring, yes, I, that's my Carandine flooring through there. Absolutely love it. Durable, stunning effects. Nine lemons will bring good luck. Thank you, Shirley. Lorraine Poon, will. I missed your earlier question. I'll have to read back now. Now, Lorraine Poon, she's been doing really a lot of um, great top tips up in her fantastic Trafford Bank guest house. Have a little um, check on that. Yes, I will miss you in Goa too. Christmas, yes Fiona Macintosh, it's nearly September and I did my first Christmas shoot uh, on Thursday this week. So I've already had to create enchantment for Park Quadrant for a new series of um, social media things coming out soon. But um, yeah, it was actually quite good. Um, made me think, yes, I've got everything I need for Christmas at home. I'm not going to overdo it. Sometimes I can become the Christmas elf and overgild the lily, but this time I promise you, less is more. Now please keep your questions coming through. I'm going to take a little seat at the end through in my teal room and take some questions. But I will be posting pictures of this after today's um, go live. And if you think that's all I'm having for breakfast, <laughs> you forget it because I know what you asked me earlier to look in my fridge. It's like a butcher shop in there. I'm going for the healthy Slimming World cooked breakfast. Thanks, Craig. I'm glad you like the Easter kitchen for me. Yeah, I'm still so eager now to get my wallpaper on the walls here. Um, I've got my artwork ready. I've got everything ready just to move on. But, you know, as we come out of lockdown, I don't want like you to think, Oh my goodness, I've got so much to do and I'm getting back to work and all these tasks and am I ready to go back to work and meet people? How do we eat an elephant? Well, don't eat elephants, number one, but how would you eat an elephant in bite-sized chunks? Bite-sized chunks. Just take every little area and deal with it. Take a little area and work with it. And as you get back to work, don't let things overwhelm you. Um, I find, especially with the amount of inquiries coming through now, um, which is great, don't get me wrong, but it can be overwhelming. And all I have to do is just take time, take a breath. Oh, there's me from the back. Shorts on again. I don't know if I'll still be wearing those in September. But here we are, back in the bar area where I keep all my glasses. Uh, sin-free brekkie, I hope. Of course it's a sin-free brekkie. Actually, Slimming World is one of the best diets I've been on because you can cheat yourself into having a full breakfast. So there we are, a little tour of my kitchen. I'm so delighted that I can actually use it now and I'm so proud of it. Um, and it just shows you that less is more. You don't have to create huge, big statements. A few carefully chosen ideas or a few carefully chosen uh, oh, I like your idea, sorry, Tony. The other side of the washing machine, yeah, double access area. You don't have to be super clever. A few big, bold statements. In my case, the marble worktop. In my case, the geometric flooring. In my case, the slightly Victorian walls. Pops of colour, 
to give you the different looks here and there as you go. Now, Debbie, what are you saying to me today? I'd like to put stone on my... I thought you said I'd put a stone on. Well, who, who hasn't in lockdown? Well, luckily not me. I'd like to put a stone wall in one of the hall stairs. Where can I get this, please? Well, there are different areas that I've got mine from. The first area, the grey you saw, was called Cooper Stone. It's a company in Livingston. And if you want something that's a little bit more like my bar area here, and you'll see that is a tile called Brick. Nepal and that's by Porcelanosa but you'll find now that um, if you go to most good tile shops they'll have a range of relief tiles that look like a broken bond brick pattern equally if you want a quick fix there are a lot of wallpapers that do a similar look um, so have a good look at that um, Good morning, John. Joining late, but we'll catch up too. Yes, as I've said before, you can get this on my YouTube forward slash John Mabley Design channel. Make sure you ring the bell to get notifications. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like me, please. John McDonald, th thank you. So I wish my kitchen looked a bit like yours. Have a great day. Well, little steps. And even if you want to calm down uh, the whole look. You could start by doing different elements, maybe just the wall, maybe reface your doors. Think of a new worktop. Now, is it too early for g and Of course it is. I've ran out of all consideration of time. Um, but I've been starting to try this new Three Spirit alcohol free. Alcohol free. Mm, quite interesting. I'll get you posted on that as well. Now, thank you so much. Um, this has been a great, um, the Amably Home Haven, it's been like being able to talk to pals every day and run ideas past each other. So thank you very much for being part of that community. It's not going away, it's only going to get bigger. And I hope, um, thank you Shelley Williams and I love you as well. Um, I only hope you stay with me on this journey because, you know, our houses are forever evolving. Our lives are always changing. I don't know if things will ever be exactly the same as they were before, but let's embrace what we have and let's look forward to creating great spaces, looking at great things and making sure the world around us is just a nicer place to be. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. I'm now going to wolf that little bowl of deliciously Ella <laughs> muesli and yogurt that I made this morning. Pop that away and have two rolls and sausage. That's my boy. I don't wake up looking like this. Have a great day.